while since I've been in front of this camera, so uh, pardon me if I'm a little rusty. But what is good, guys? It is your boy Xavier Ashton, aka Ashbro, yo. Back here again with another video. So the last time I saw you guys, I believe was in the beginning of April when I posted a video of the beast that I created over there, which is my gaming PC. And yeah, that video just flopped. So we're not even gonna go there. Since then, I celebrated my birthday, which was on April 26th. Went to Puerto Rico for like three or four days. Just was a beautiful trip. Had to let some stress go. So yeah, since then, I've actually been back into the stock market day trading, just trying to create some wealth for myself. So I haven't really had time to make some videos, but in today's video, this video is very special to me because one of my YouTube boys, which is Paul, and if you don't know Paul, his YouTube channel is Locus and Wild Honey. Actually, you guys should know Paul because if you follow me, you know I'm a Jerry boy and Paul is like the ringleader of Jerry boys. Just saying, Paul, just saying. But Paul created his own clothing line and uh, yo, sent your boy a special package. So that's what we're unboxing today. Hold up, before we get into that, I got three little pickups and then we're gonna get into the special unboxing. All right, first thing that we have here is a T by J Edits. You guys already know, I don't have to talk about it and we're not even gonna talk about it in this video because this video is about Paul. But J Edits always makes dope vintage, like bootleg bitches tees. Had to cop this one, you guys know I am a Chicago Bulls fan. So why wouldn't I cop the dope tee, of course. And like I said, don't gotta talk about it, J. You always do your thing, so championship bulls tee. Next piece we have here is from Fanatics. God damn. And this took forever to come pause. But representing the other goat of soccer, because you couldn't cop this jersey at all during the whole World Cup, but I had to cop this jersey. So I got my messy jersey, and this is the World Cup championship jersey. So, you know, got one of those, Argentina. And last but not least, we have a little sleeper pickup. And as you can see, this is a Vans box. But I kind of was just feeling these because Vans, I felt like, just took their power back in their hands. So if you don't know about the Vans Storm, basically it was a Vans with a Thunderbolt. And basically what Vans just did, as you can see, just put the Vans with the Thunderbolt on the midsole. So, yeah. But let's get into the real unboxing now. Come on now. You see the logo? You see the logo? All right. So we got about four pieces here. And uh, let's see, let's see what we got. All right, so first piece we have here is the Genesis work jacket in olive. The second piece we have here are good carpenter pants in vintage brown. Third piece we have here is a knitted waves short sleeve shirt in black. And the last piece we have here is the heavy ingredient hoodie. And right off the bat, if you look at the packaging, love the packaging, and as you can tell, it is definitely fear of God inspired, and there's nothing wrong with that. It is dope, man. Love the logo too, Paul, honestly. So uh, let's let's unbox this one first. What I also like is the black tissue paper that surrounds the garment. So, you know, it just doesn't get damaged or anything just in case, let's say it gets open. But, uh, right. Oh, I remember seeing this hoodie. Yo, this hoodie is so fire. I remember, I remember when he first like showed the pictures of it. Yo, I was putting like flame signs every time he posted this. And it just gives you that old school vintage look. It kind of is like, oh, hold on. I, I, I thought it was, I was gonna say it's kind of like the color I'm wearing right now. But um, here you go. The front of the hoodie right here. And as you can see, the heavy gradient. So then it goes down kind of like a bleach fade kind of look, but it goes into this tan right here. And damn, this is definitely high quality. I feel this. And then on the back is where he has the locust and wild honey. Um, crafted, iron, sharpened by iron, locust and wild honey from the beginning, and then on the back. So, I'll show you guys that right now. First thing we have here is the hoodie. Like I said, a beautiful hoodie at that. Next thing we're opening up is the knitted wave short sleeve shirt. Oh, what I dropped. Messing this up. I I'm sorry, man. I'm ripping the paper all up and everything. Oh, okay. I remember seeing this, and I believe this one comes in two colors. I believe he has this in a cream and then the black. Yo, this is fire. Nah, honestly, this is some heat for the summertime, man. Like, honestly, you just wear a little white with this V neck, right? Yeah, 
wear a white v-neck tuck it in some uh light denim jeans put this on top have a little heat on the feet i'm not gonna lie paul i probably should have asked for a medium in these things because this small is uh not look like it's gonna fit but you know once once your boys start working out again i don't know if it's gonna fit me right but uh nah honestly this is dope for the summertime definitely a summertime piece as you can see it's all netted well knitted but yeah so you won't be too hot in this the breeze will come right through and as you can see that's actually this tag let's see if i can show you guys this tag right there but uh all right second piece right here did a short sleeve shirt let's go on to the next piece all right next we are opening the carpenter pants Now this color is dope. Ooh, Paul. Paul, you really outdid yourself here. All right, hold on. You can see the tag there. Little Swap Honey Goods, you know what I'm saying? So you know it's official. And this brown is Carpenter, actually. This brown is fire. Damn, bro, I got a small ass waist. I'm a 28. But uh, <laughs> it's just funny, cause like you see my small ass waist, and then you see like, uh, this, I wouldn't say this is boot cut. This is boot cut, but it's definitely like wide leg. Cause you know, a carpenter. But yo, these are fire. Definitely gonna wear these. Definitely already got a fit in mind for these. I'm looking at my um ah, my, my fours as soon as I sell these. But um, whew. hold on, let me just show you guys. But you know, carpenter pants, you know, they always got that loop right there. You put your hammer right there. And then right here, you would just put like your little tools and everything. Cause you know, these are work pants. You know, we use them for style, but these are actual work pants. Painters and everybody use these. These are actually fire. Actually, I wonder if you, if you bleach these, what would these look like? Uh, I'm not even gonna do that. I'm not gonna do that to Paul and stuff, you know what I'm saying? But carpenter pants, definitely dope. Um, let's go on to the last item. Last but not least, we got the Genesis work jacket, which I saw Paul actually wear his work jacket. And these are fire. So let's see what we got here. And now olive color. Oh, this is actually fire, bro. Cause it's like a dark olive. Oh, this goes with everything. Oh God. This is, oh, I probably should have got a medium, bro. I'm not even gonna, oh, the inside is red. This is dope. And... Oh, that's fire, bro. Nah, bro, he put the name on the work jacket. Bro, nah, that's fire. Nah, Paul, you're killing it, bro. You are killing the game right now, man. And then you got the Locust and the Wild Honey logo right there. Nah, Paul, Paul, hold on. Got my name on my jacket, bro. This is like a one-on-one, -on -one. like, nah, bro, you showed love, OD. I probably should have got a medium, though. I'm not even gonna front, but um, everything that I got is in a small, and then for the pants, it was a 28. Those are my dimensions. Um, I'm 5'6", 130 pounds, but I'll be benching like 200. Don't try to play with me. But um, yeah, man, but this, honestly, the work jacket, yo. Oh, this is, this is fire, bro. I'm not for real, this is fire. But <laughs> I'm just sorry, because I'm just stuck. Like, yo, that's, that's dope. Like, that's really dope. But um, you got the tag. Like, I'm, I'm honestly just stuck for words, my fault. Got the inside tag there. Yo. Inside is red. Ah, it just honestly just messed me up. Like, <laughs> I was really like ready to review it. And then like that, that just, it's the little details. You know what I mean? That make you feel special as a creator. But hold up, let me just see something real quick. Cause this is a small and I got everything in a small. But let me see. Oh, nah. I'm Gucci, bro. Let me, like, I'm gonna do a try on, like an official try on, but this is basically an essential small hoodie. And as you already know, with essential small hoodies, like they essentially just run big. But then, nah, I couldn't have gotten a medium because in my sleeves, like as you can tell right there, my sleeves, I would have been like swimming in them. But nah, bro, this is this is fire, bro. And then, as you know, you got the Ashton right there, boy. You know what I'm saying? Good look, Paul. Uh, nothing on the back, which is dope. You know, you got everything right here, man. You got your little pocket right here. 
you know. Work jack to keep your cigarettes and whatnot. I don't smoke, but you know, put whatever you want. Pockets right in here. And uh all right, let me let me uh let me give you an official try on of everything. So let's go to that. Okay, guys, so before we get into this styling and try on session, I just want to say sorry in advance for the last clip because my mic quality was trash. Um, I did plug in my mic, but I didn't plug in my mic at the same time. Yeah, you could figure it out. I just want to say if you have creative friends, bro, check on your creative friends because sometimes you know everything is good and then sometimes we just be down out bad. So with that being said, the first thing that I want to try on in style is this short sleeve knitted t-shirt, which is this piece right here. And when I look at this tee, I think of so many ways that you could dress it up and dress it down. But uh, for the first outfit, I think I'm going to dress it up. So let's get into that. So for the bottom, I'm going to be wearing these Express Extra Slim Crop Pants. Had to put on a belt because I still haven't got these tailored. I'm going to do no undershirt with the first fit. And for the shoes, we're going zero grams from Kohan. I don't know what my shoe horn is at at the moment. And here we have it, the first outfit. Like I said, I just wanted to dress it up a little bit. Um, this kind of reminds me of like the summer nights, you know what I mean? You wear a little outfit like this, a little comfy casual, but uh, let's dress it down now. So for pants, I'm going to do these black skinnies by ASOS. Underneath is going to be an Abercrombie white tee. And for the kicks, I'm going to do the off-white chucks just to keep that black and white theme, but, you know, have some pop of orange. How we looking here? You tell me. I was going to do the panda dunks, but then I was like, let me do something different. Let me do the chucks, you know, because they got the pop of orange and, you know, it's just different, you know? So, like I said, how we looking? You like it? Let's go into the third out. Okay, so I'm trading in the black jeans for these 510 Levi's. And I'm trading the chucks in for the pandas. So how you guys feel in this fit? Let me just give you a quick 360. To be honest with you guys, I probably would remove the white t-shirt. I just don't feel like doing it right now or just replace it with a black t-shirt um, just because now I just feel like it's just too much going on. You know what I mean? But um, overall, like I said, love this garment. Um, those are the three outfits that I had for it. I'm just like short and sweet with this. Um, let's go into the hoodie. Actually, I'm gonna speed this up because I don't know why I'm acting like this is a get ready with me. It's fits. So I'm gonna show you the fit and just break down what I'm wearing. Okay, so the next fit that I have on here is the Locust and Wild Honey hoodie. Um, underneath the hoodie, I got the Abercrombie white tee with the hoodie tuck. That way you could just see like the white tee has a little accent. For the pants, I believe these are Abercrombie and Fitch pants. Um, I'll check the tag later. And then for the bottoms, I have the I Mama My, My, My Threes. And I just feel like personally, this outfit, just with the green and the tan, like this gradient, you could throw so many kicks together with this. Like I have my New Balance 550s, so I'll just show you right now. So these are the ALD 550s. Probably some of you are gonna like it more than the I Mama My, My, My Threes. Probably some of you are not. But um, like I'm saying, like this goes with it. I forgot what 500s these are. I believe they were like the taupe light. But if I were to wear something like this, I would tuck the white in. That way you wouldn't see it. You know, that way it just matches with this. But um, this is the first fit. Let me go into the second. Now, if you know me and how I dress, you know this outfit right here is all me. And this is my favorite outfit because I get to Jerry Boy out with the Locust and Wild Honey hoodie, the Fear of God ones. And then these pants, I believe, were some skinny cargos from H&M. A lot of people ask about them when I wear them. But um, yeah, I had these for about like a year or two. I don't know if they ever come back in stock, but pretty dope. But what I like about this outfit is how in the back of the hoodie is basically iron sharpens iron. So, you know, the hoodie gives you that industrial look with the two-tone gradient. You know, the cargos give you that industrial look, but then you got the Jerry Boy ones, them Fear of God ones that just look oh so smooth. So let me just give you a little 360 one more time. And then I got the white shirt just to have the little accent, but um. Yeah, man. I love this outfit. I love this outfit a lot. And then I don't know if I'm feeling this fit, but I put the I Mama My, My, My Fours on, um, the Violet Oars, you know. Basically, they give you that industrial like look too, so I don't know. I'm looking in the mirror right now. I'm kind of feeling it, but of course, I like the Fear of God ones better to suit this outfit. But the Violet Oars, man, the I Mama My, My Fours, ain't that bad with this. I can't even lie. And then right here, keeping it real simple, we got the light denim Levi's with the Mocha ones. Um, I like it. I feel like it's kind of boring. You know, it's like one of those easy things. Um, if I wanted to spice it up, I guess heat-wise spice it up, 
I would do off white fours, of course. But once again, that's also easy because whenever you wear the off white fours, they basically go with anything you put them with uh, just because of the color tones. But also, you know, they're off white. So whatever you're wearing is just going to put the heat hype up, whatever you want to say. But I was actually looking at this other outfit I'm going to show you guys. And I don't know if it works, but for some reason, when I look at it, I just like it. And that is with the Hyper Royal Ones. And I don't know why, because to me, when I look at this, I feel like this doesn't go together. But part of me saying it does go together. I don't I don't know. Maybe it's the pants. Let me switch the pants. Hold up. Like I said, all five fours make anything an easy fit. Like I'm just saying, man. Hold up. I just wanted to see what the mochas look like with the black pants with this. And easy fit. Easy fit. So as you can see for me, it's definitely not with the black pants. Maybe the green cargos. And now looking at it, mm, nah, I don't. I don't see it. I thought I saw it. Maybe I saw it, you know. Maybe you guys saw it, you know, but I don't see it no more. So, um, sorry for wasting your time, I guess, but I spent too much time on this hoodie. Uh, let's review something else. Let's go to the carpet pants. I'm not even going to lie to you, gang. I'm really not a baggy clothes type of person, but these carpet pants is fire. And like I said, like, the reason I don't wear baggy clothes because I'm short. I'm like 5'6", and I'm skinny, bro. I'm only 130 pounds. So, like, baggy clothes, it'd be looking like I'd be swimming in them. But they don't look that big on me. But mind you, these, these shits is, they huge, bro. Like, they huge, you feel me? But uh, let's, I don't, I don't even know what to, let's see what I can style with this. I feel like I found the fit, but now I just realized this is my third time wearing this tee. And as you can see right here, I guess my girl did our whites together, bro. And I got a bleach collar, so this tee is, is garbage now. But this is a J. Edis tee. Um, low key, I was feeling the fit because I thought, you know, like baggy pants. Pharrell, back in the day, we was wearing the baggy pants, you know, complimented with the I My My 12s. I just thought it was a nice little vibe, man. But the T, damn, bro, I only wear this shirt three times. Let me, maybe I got another T. Let me see some. I mean, I got this Kobe Bryant heavyweights T. I mean, this go kind of hard, but I just feel like that Pharrell T kind of just did it, bro. Just like with the nostalgia, just wearing the baggy clothes. But to be honest with you guys, I feel like the sneaker that would set this uh, pant off is the Nike SB Jordan 4s, those uh, green and white ones. I feel like that with this would just set it off. I wish I had those, but I mean, I'm trying, guys. Let me, I probably got like one more fit out of these. Like I said, baggy pants really ain't my bop, you feel me? I mean, how do y'all feel about this one? Kind of that fitted baggy look. I mean, like I said, man, these pants, I'm trying, man. I got like a desert camo bape tee, you know what I'm saying? I got the bape in the back right here, as you can see. I got uh, these Bape Doc Martin boots that, honestly, every time when I wear them, everybody's like, oh, my God, I didn't know these released. But I guess they were like a sneaker, a sneaker, a uh, secret release or whatever. But, I mean, Bape with the Bape with the carpet, the jeans, man, I, like I'm saying, I'm going to show you guys what I'm talking about. Hold on. So the jacket that I got on right now is from Zara. And basically, the reason why I put this on is because this kind of represents what I was talking about with the Jordan 4 SBs. That green, the beige, and all that. It has the colors, except the brown, that are in those sneakers. Now, with that being said, like I said, I feel like this and this, it just go together, right? You got the T now, so I got the brown with the brown, the cream with the cream. I just felt like if I had the shoes, them Jordan 4s, I felt like this outfit right here would have been fire. But, you know... Like I said, I got the babe, the babe with the Zara T, Zara T, the Zara varsity jacket. I mean, I'm a, I'm a switch, man. I'm gonna go to my other jacket over here. Where's, where's my, my worker jacket? You know what I'm saying? Cause like I said, these jeans, man, they got me beat. Okay guys. So for the first fit, I got this essentials. I believe this was a vintage black or wash black, whatever the hell it is. It's ashy black T for the pants. I went for minimal. I believe these are the snap Western black pants. And then for the kicks, I got on the Toro Bravo 4s, which these are really aged. But I really wanted to wear these red kicks just to basically exaggerate the red inside this jacket. And like the little red accent here. And then, you know, you have the white uh, Locust and Wild Honey. So you also got the white on there. So this is my first fit. I feel like this is like, you know, cool, common, collective. Um... The only thing about this jacket is it's not your typical, like, work jacket. It's cropped, which is pretty cool. I got, like, two denim essential jackets that are cropped. Um, but, yo, just nice little calm fit. Uh, you guys let me know down below. You feeling this one? Let's go to the second one. Actually, real quick, let me know. Do you guys like this fit better with the Toro Bravo 4s or the Bread 1s? So, first, we got the Toro Bravo 4s. And then the Bread 1s. 
I don't know. Let me know down below. Let me know down below if you even made it this far in the video. This video feels like it's going to be long as hell, but let's all go on to the second off. Hold on, guys. So I just saw this in my head. I don't know if it's going to work, but to be honest with you guys, I'm just having fun trying on things. So let's see if we put on this jacket, if it go together. And if it's a nod, just let me know down below. We just having fun with this thing. But basically, I kept the same fit on, just put on a Cream Essentials hoodie, and then I put on my shattered backboards because, you know, orange and green basically go together. And this might look black, but it's actually like a dark olive. So I don't know if it's giving. I don't even know why the hell I just said that. But if it ain't, I already know how to make it work. I mean, I could probably do this with the I'm my my fours, give it that industrial look, or just, you know, make it easy and just put on them off white fours. Like I said earlier in the video, man, it's just too easy when you have this sneaker. Like I said, it just goes with everything. And it just makes everything pop. I'm not even going to lie. I'm sweating my ass off in this hoodie jacket and t-shirt. But I'm doing it for the video. So, I mean, I feel like it's a calm fit. You know, it's an easy fit. Like, this whole video, I was trying to have fun and try to make some hard fits. You know, something I really don't be wearing. But it is what it is. Um, I probably just got one more fit because this video is probably long as hell. And I really just wanted to show you guys the garments. And once again, thank you to Paul for everything. But um, I probably just got one more fit and I will end the video. So, let's do that. Actually, I lied because this memory card only has 30 seconds left to record and my battery is at five seconds. So with that being said, thank you so much, Paul, for sending the Locust and Wild Honey Care Package. Everything was fire, bro. Definitely going to rock the hell out of these clothes. You made it this far in the video. Don't forget to go down below, drop a comment, smack that like button. Until next time, it is your boy, Ash Royale. Peace.